Good morning. Today's lesson, we are going to talk about um, a few different elements of the art and principles of design. So, you may have never heard of them as called elements of the art and principles of design, but I know that you know what some of them are. Um, and so we'll go over them before we actually start the lesson in class together. But these are the ones we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on form, which is a 3D shape. We're going to focus on pattern, line, and lines that form pattern, color, space, and overlapping. texture, and balance. So these four, five, six, seven, seven points are what we are going to be focusing on. Now, pattern and balance, these are principles of design. Texture, space, color, line, and form, those are elements of art. So all of the elements of art and principles of design are supposed to be um, things that you could add to your artwork to make them um, more interesting, nicer to look at, um, a well-rounded piece of artwork. So we'll keep this um, so that we can check off as we go when we're creating our project. What we're going to do is we're going to create... Um, like a little cactus drawing. I don't have mine all the way finished, but I'm just giving you a preview. A little cactus drawing um, where we can incorporate all these different things and we're gonna paint at the end of it. So I wanna show you three different vase shapes. This is the first thing I want you to look at. So this vase or form um, just has slanted walls that come in. Now when we talk about a form, we talk about a 3D shape and we have drawn cylinders before and we said when there is a round bottom or top that it needs to look curved. The top needs to be a curved line. So if my, the top of my vase is actually a circle and I'm looking at it from the side, it needs to show a curved line. So I'm gonna show you three different types of vases. Remember this one. Here's another one. This one, the top is the same. It's a curved top. The only difference is I made a little S curve on it. Okay, and then the last one, it's the same top, a curved line. The only difference is this one, I curved it all the way out, okay? So, in order to make these um, bases, I'm going to show you a small version of it. If this was my paper, one, two, three, so... When you make your vase, you want to make them really large. Like if this is my paper, I want to make them about half of what my paper is going to be. So the first one, I want to make two lines that are close to the edge of my paper, and I can just draw them off of the paper. This one, I can make curved lines that go off of my paper. And this one, we talked about making like an S line that goes off my paper. Okay, and then we talked about how the top of them is the same on every single vase. It's a slanted line down, right? A curvy line. Okay. So those curved lines, you don't even have to draw the back of it because we're going to fill it in with um, different kinds of cactuses. So those back lines, um, you don't have to draw them. But this bottom line means that the top of my flower pot is a circle. So I'm going to start a brand new one with you. I'm going to start it in pencil though, just like you're going to be starting in pencil. I have my pencil and eraser here. And I'm just gonna start with, um, I think just the slanty vase. I think that one is a good one to start with. So I want, um, I know I want it to be about halfway up my paper. So I'm gonna, this is about a little bit under halfway, but pretty close. So I'm gonna come in just a little bit and I'm gonna make a dot. And I'm gonna trail or trace my pencil over here and I'm gonna come in just a little bit and make a dot. So now I know both of my sides of my vase will be about the same height. Now I can take my line and I can just make a kind of diagonal line that goes all the way off my paper. 
Okay, so there's my flower base, and now I just need to make that slightly curvy line that comes here. So now I have my flower vase part done. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do on your vase is you're just going to take your um, vase and like make it into big sections, like chunk it up into big sections. Like this one, I just drew some straight lines to make it into big sections. So I'm going to, I think I want a straight line here. You do not have to do the same as me. You can change yours up. And I think I want a line that comes down. I'm just trying to think of some big lines that I could put together. See, I think I want to make another straight line that goes this way. And then I want to make one that comes here. Maybe I'll do it in a square. There. So now I have a bunch of big lines on my flower base. Okay. And eventually we are going to be filling these in with patterns and designs. <clears throat> but for right now I want to talk about the cactuses so when we start filling in our cactuses on the background cactuses are actually pretty simple shapes there are a lot of rounded shapes that are connected and there's a lot of like zigzag shapes okay I would say this one is maybe the trickiest so when I start my cactuses we want to talk about overlapping remember so the first one we talked about, to back up just a little bit, we made a form, we made a 3D base shape. So we did a form. Now we're going to talk about um, overlapping in space, okay? So I'm gonna draw my little cactuses first. It's just a loop. I could put another nub on top of it if I want to. And I can draw some lines in there that make it look like it's a cactus and just draw some X's on it so it looks spiky. There we go. One cactus. Now I want to draw another one that adds on to itself. Like this kind. There's another one. And then I'm going to draw a little spiky one. So these are my mini cactuses, just in the front of my paper. It's so like this one, I could do some dots. Make it look spiky. Or I could do this part with a Sharpie too. Okay, so I have three mini cactuses. Now we talked about overlapping. It's easiest to draw the three small ones first and then to go back and draw big ones behind it. So I'm gonna start from the middle of this one. I'm gonna draw a big cactus. There's a great big one. And I could start from right here. And this is where we wanna talk about balance too. So if I have a great big one, I don't wanna have all the big ones on one side and all the little ones on the other side or it's gonna look out of balance. I want to kind of balance it to make sure that if there's a big one over here, I'm going to put a big one over here also. So I'm going to start to make that other kind of cactus. I come up and then I give it an arm. And then I finish the top of it. And I come down a little bit and I give it an arm. Okay. And then I'm going to put a medium one over here. But I think this one I want two pieces on it. There we go. Now I kind of have three larger cactuses, three little cactuses. So after you do that, we can now start finishing the back of our flower pot. So if this was curved, I can make the back side of my flower pot curved. This is my cactus. So I don't want to draw it there. There. Now it looks like I have the background of my cactus or of my flower pot too. So we just did form, overlapping, balance. We started to add texture into our cactuses and you can continue with that by giving them lines and making prickly marks on them. I could put a flower on top if I wanted to. It's not gonna look like a flower until I color it, but 
by adding texture, visual texture, making it look like it's pokey. Okay, that will help. So after we add all of our texture, then I wanna talk about pattern and line, okay? We are going to go in each of these little sections and we're gonna make patterns and lines. Our lines, uh, using lines to make patterns. So maybe this one I wanna make straight up and down lines. If you think you're gonna go super detailed, you might want to use your Sharpie first. Like I could switch to my Sharpie and I could do, so I don't have to trace it. Um, oops. Okay, and I could keep filling in every single section with a different pattern, okay? You get the idea. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to trace and Sharpie over the whole thing. And next time we will talk about how we're gonna paint this in with color. So that will be our last one that we're talking about. We just did pattern and line for our vase, then we're gonna talk about color, all right? If you have any questions, pause your video and just come ask me. All right, have a good day.